Three of the hardest things to say is, I'm sorry, I need help, and algorithmification. <laughs> so bear with me. I'm, I'm originally German. I'm allowed to invent these long words that nobody knows how to pronounce. And I've been using, I've been using this term for quite a bit now. Algorithmification does to knowledge what digitalization is doing to information and communication, basically to data. So let's look at digitalization first. So be first of all aware that there's a difference between digitization and digitalization. And I'm, I'm using these words with a specific purpose. Digitization is you basically take information, data that's in analog format, and you convert it into a digital version. You digitize it. So I, I was a few years ago uh, visiting a scholar at the Library of Congress. And uh, in the Library of Congress, they're doing that a lot. So in, in libraries, they take books, analog books, the world's information that is stored in these books, and they digitize it. They basically make copies. And that is great because once it's in digital format, we will talk about the characteristics of digital content in a, in a later lecture. It has a lot of benefits. You can send it around the world in digital networks. You can copy paste it. You can search it. You can, you know, we can do many things with it. So that's fantastic that we save that. But that's what's happening. So there is basically a replication of this kind of information. Now that's different to digitalization. What this gentleman here did in his little garage <laughs> where he wrote on the, on the wall Amazon.com as Jeff Bezos in 19, 94, uh, he digitalized the book market. Amazon at the beginning was a retailer, a sales platform for books, exclusively for books. So it basically did something that's similar to what the Library of, Cong Library of Congress is renting out books. And Jeff Bezos sold books. Now, he started that in 1994. And only five years later, he was already the person of the year because he actually transformed the entire industry. So while digitization is the replication, you really take the book, you convert into digital format, you don't change anything, you replicate what is, what is digitalization is the transformation. So it has to do with the form. The form is changing. It's a qualitative change in form that's going on. And you know something similar happens with algorithmification and its opposite, algorithmization. So in algorithmization, I basically take a process, process that a recipe that involves knowledge, and I algorithmize, algorithmize it. Now it's difficult for me to pronounce these things. <laughs> so I algorithmize it. That's what algorithmization is about. You are not supposed to innovate with a tax code. Don't. <laughs> that is what it is. It's the law. It's the code of law. And what you do is you take the code of law and put it into digital code one by one. You're not supposed to really change that in essence, right? You have to implement the law. You can change the law, but then you have to go to the lawmakers and so forth, and then you, but not when you algorithmize it. That's, you, you stick to what it basically says and you automate the process to a certain extent. A tech so software does a lot of your work nowadays. It does a lot of your work. And, we are working on actually automating it even more to make it simpler and simpler every year. And that's we basically make this, you know, some of these tacit processes explicit. So what that is, is the replication. That's the replication of a process very similar to what my colleagues do at the Library of Congress. And I'm very fascinated. I hang out there a lot and it's like, wow, you're really digitizing. So they take the information, ancient information, they're digitizing it and bringing it into digital format. That's fantastic. Now, that's very different of what Jeff Bezos did with Amazon. That's digitalization, not digitization, digitalization. That's a transformation. He really transformed the industry, the book business industry. It, it became different. There are a lot of innovation that he introduced. And in a later lecture, we will talk about these characteristics the death of distance, the, the, the rating, for example, the personalization that comes with the bus, the, the, what he puts into it. So he can do, the communication can be a much more one-to-one -one communication once he has all this data. So that, that really revolutionized the, the way books are sold. And then he, he quickly went from books to all the other consumer products and took over the entire retailing world because of these innovations. 
the digitalization division that he brought in in the last, well, over 20, 25 years it took to, to, to do that and to innovate and become one of the most successful companies that we had in recent decades and of the digital age. Now, algorithmification, so that algorithmification comes from the facere, that's the to make, to do. And that it also has some qualitative changes. So we have some qualitative changes in the way of how we execute these algorithms. And we do that, for example, with machine learning, with simulations, digital twins. I mentioned several times digital twins already in this lecture. With decentralization, there are proposals of the blockchain, how the blockchain can help us to algorithmify processes and, and, and create new applications. Machine learning and artificial intelligence are probably one of the most central ways of how we algorithmify processes, innovate, make them differently. And in the next presentation, we will have to talk more about that, about artificial intelligence. But before that, before we go to the next presentation, let's just, let's just wrap up this digitalization and algorithmification. And maybe by now you can already say it, algorithmification. So we have basically a two by two matrix where we have replication and transformation, and then we have data and communication, and we have knowledge. So digitization is the replication, the fiel, trustworthy, same replication of the same information we had before. You digitize a book. Digitalization is the transformation of it. You bring in some digital characteristics, and in the later lecture, we will study these different characteristics that make the digital paradigm different. And, and you know, some of them, I mean, we're talking here on a video recording, you know, like, we, are, we are transforming space and time thanks to characteristics that digitalization uh, it affords you. So once it's digitized, you can digitalize the processes and innovate on them. And so the same happens now. Now we go from the data and communication age to the knowledge age. The same happens now to knowledge. You can algorithmize some process. You take tax law and you convert it, or you can algorithmify the process that has to do with innovations. And that's what we talk about next when we talk about artificial intelligence.